Um, I missed a me. I don't think so. No. Um, these guys. I missed this video. I uh, meant to talk about this last stream. I did not. Um, this is Ralph getting into detail about his uh, his predilections, as he would say. All right, so we're at seven. I ride it hard, you know. I ain't the only thing I ride hard. You wonder why these women are so obsessed with my dick? Well, partially it's because I, I guess I'm telling the truth. I had like a 20 year porn addiction where I really studied how to please and make women come repeatedly over and over and over and over again. And so once I'm able to do that to them and every orifice that they own, they really, really like it. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. They really, really like it. Okay, we're gonna drink. And we met the goal. I used to study how to eat pussy. How to work the dick, like, to hit the G-spot, like, dude, I was a sick gooning fuck, but guess what? There's something to be said for gooning, if you don't spend your whole life on it. Spend about 10 or 15 years on it, because these hoes go wild, they go wild, dude. I guarantee, I, I won't say what I was say, but, like... Yeah, you got to put it in a practice, though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no, you're so right, Gun Gladiator. You can't just, like, study it and, like, oh, whack off and that's it. No, you need to actually study it and, like, think about how you're going to actual, actually do the real pussy like that, right? Like, so... You, excuse me, I, I dropped the camera there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll just do it. Oh, oh, and uh, Uno Mas and then uh, La Quinta. Yeah, yeah. It's been a great night. Great service. Thank you, by the way. Hey, say hello to the fans here. You've been... Hey, what is this? Say hello to the fans. Fuck off. Uh, so, I, if I did not know better, if I had just heard this clip and I had no idea who Ethan Ruff was... I would assume that he had never had sex in his entire life. Like the idea that he's that porn is like reality and he's like doing porn moves on women and they love it. Like that's something that like a 15 year old would say at like high school. You know what I mean? Like to, to try and impress his friends, he would reiterate his awesome sex moves that he saw in like porn to try and impress his friends like how the fuck does this guy have two kids i would even go so far as to say i would never believe that this guy hearing this that this guy has ever had sex with a woman he did not pay for but i know even that's false so i guess this is just why his relationships ended because he's trying to do weird porn shit on on poor i say poor pantsu that might be the only time i ever say that <laughs> poor pantsu and faith and they're like what the fuck is wrong with you I guess they just assume that it's normal because they're both like fucked in the head and they're just like, oh, I guess this is what men are like. Uh, kind of tragic. Uh, there's a follow-up to this. Um, so Ralph, I finally get to say this because it's really obvious that Ralph is like paying a, a prostitute to be his girlfriend. And um, uh, she... She... He had been posting pictures of them together, but on her public Instagram, which is like how she sells her services, um, she is not posting any pictures of them together. And uh, so it was just kind of assumed that he was like a John and she was just like a lady that he was paying her for her time. And now um, he wants to hang out with her again, but 
she lives very far away. He lives in, in Merida, which is on the Yucatan Peninsula, on the far southeast side of Mexico. And she apparently lives in some place called uh, Taxco, which is apparently in one of those border states of Mexico. They're like an active war zone that are under occupation by cartels and are just generally not a place that you would ever want to go as a white person with a U.S. passport because they routinely like abduct American tourists and then like hold them ransom and post videos of them beheading people. Uh, so, uh, he, his plan to go there is kind of suspicious. It's like, why is she luring him out to like this shithole? Now, I, I am a, of course a world traveler myself, but I avoided the Donbass and Crimea when I was, um, in, in Ukraine, because that's just not a good idea. You don't usually want to go. When I was in the Philippines, I didn't go to the South Islands that were like occupied by jihadists and shit. You generally want to avoid those kinds of places and countries. Um, but for some reason, he's going out there. And then I think at some point he has backed out of this and is no longer going. Because um, there's a whole thread for this and people talking about it. And I think that what he said now is that he is meeting her at Mexico city. So he's like, um, going, he's going, he's going to like meet her halfway and pay for her to come out to Mexico city. So, uh, he doesn't have to risk being beheaded and cause he knows the, it's not that look Bish, he don't scare, he don't scare for nothing. And those bitch ass cartel members and she, they don't scare Ethan Ralph. However, while Ralph is not afraid of being decapitated violently by a bunch of drug cartel members um, after being held hostage and tortured, he knows that the gay logs would find it very funny if he was decapitated for fucking with one of their hoes in, in Taxco after he was warned not to go to Mexico. So, um, merely to deprive that, that bitch Harry Morris and the, the coin man from California, who will not be named, uh, he has decided to instead avoid his own death so that they can be epically owned, epic style. Very smart move, if you think about it. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!